ladies and gentlemen good afternoon Callisto here we got called out to a property today uh, we have a little work order or something going on in the grass it's dying and we are located in West Central Florida and uh, I really think it's chinch bugs okay we have some good decent looking turf over here in the shade looks like it's getting proper water the height's a little inconsistent it might have been on the on the fertilizing end um, then we start getting over here in the sun it's starting to look a little thinned out and uh, towards the edges here maybe uh, maybe we're getting a little drought stress and then the chinch bugs moved in and just tore this place up this is uh, about an early early stage early to mid stage of chinch bug damage then you get over here and you're you're starting to get the full effect of these little critters now southern chinch bug they go into the grass they suck out the sap of the grass then they inject the poison i don't know if you can see this little guy right here little black little black critters with a white stripe on their back and they tear it up now how do you get rid of chinch bugs well there's a couple things you can do there's a couple preventative treatments that you can do before the chinch bugs even show up now you can do uh, you can do a a systemic insecticide which will give you season long control against against most critters sod web worms chinch bugs mole crickets grubs now that product that i've used in the past and had good results with um, arena or a loft now the difference between arena and a loft both of them contain active ingredient clothianidin but the aloft has bifenthrin mixed in it. So you get that quick knockdown with a long lasting residual control of the eclothianidin. Now, just a simple way to get rid of these chinch bugs is, is to mix up a little bifen, bifenthrin. Mix it with water and a backpack sprayer, put a little, uh, spreader sticker or adjuvant in there because insects breathe through their skin so you want to suffocate them and you want to give them give them a good knockdown uh, in this in this scenario since we're in the blackout period which doesn't allow nitrogen to be applied to the turf grass i'd go ahead and uh, i'd use a little potassium potash now Now chinch bugs are pretty hard to get rid of. You're gonna want to uh, you're gonna want to penetrate that thatch layer and get those chinch bugs gone quick. Now you're probably gonna need a couple applications, probably about two. The initial initial treatment. Then I'd say about about seven to ten days afterwards, you're gonna want to come back, check the area. Now you might have nymphs. Uh, they're little red guys. You get the adults that are black with a white stripe on their back, and then you have a nymph, which is the early stage of a chinch bug, that you have red body with a little white stripe on the back now those guys might have hatched which the bifenthrin will not kill the eggs okay so you're going to want to come back seven to ten days and see what you got maybe put a little more potassium on it to help the roots and uh maybe maybe you can spray it with a little micronutrients um in this area over here the customer is not going to want to wait until this fills back in, so we're going to have to put some new sod here. Um, these areas over here, from this from this signpost over, we're going to go ahead and, and 
not put any sod there. We can get this to come back no problem. Well, I hope this video helped. Give us a like and uh, tune in next time. Thank you.